Alright guys, so today is chest day and I started off here with some dumbbell bench press on the floor rather than using a bench. I like to do it on the floor sometimes. I just think it, I feel it more, I can control the rep more. And um, when my elbows come down and hit the ground, it just stabilizes me and I get a real good squeeze on the chest. And you guys should give it a try. Anytime you want to change it up, you'll get a really good pump from this one. You know, starting out light and then moving up to pretty heavy will do the trick with, you know, doing bench on the floor. Um, just you, you can concentrate more and you feel, the, you feel the rep because you're on the ground and you're feeling your body through the motion, y'all. Alright, and then we went to the machine press. This is a decline hammer strength, really targeting the lower chest here. Just repping it out, and I use and I guide my rep with my elbows here. On most of the pressing movements, I really focus on the elbows. is is what is going to target the rep, and it's what's really going to give me the range of motion. Make sure your elbows, you're pressing through your elbows, and that will target your chest, and that'll get it to to pump up and expand. Just squeeze that bottom y'all here. Pump it out. Those elbows will guide you in the rep. Then we're staying with lower chest here. Jumped over to the dip machine and I do the assisted dip machine to really squeeze at the top of the rep. I mean I can do dips without the machine but I like to do this here to really go slow and feel it out. This is also a good finisher for the end of your workout. I didn't do it at the end here but you know, after a big bench day and uh, doing a lot of flies, this dip machine will really stretch everything out and finish off your workout nicely. And on the, the, dip, the dips here, to target chest and rather than target the triceps, you want to lean forward and that's going to target the chest and activate it. By leaning forward, you're going to be hitting more of your chest. Just keeping the elbows locked into my body and pressing up, y'all. Alright, and then we went over to some cable flies. This is a classic. On this one, just let it stretch you out in the beginning and keep your eyes up. Keep your chin up and really feel it out. Let it stretch you and then bring them down at the same time, squeezing at the bottom. This is great for the whole chest. It looks like you're hitting lower chest, which you are, of course, but this will draw blood to the whole area, not just lower chest. And on these cables, you know, you don't have to pull all the weight in the world. Start out light and go up from there. 12, about 10 to 12 reps is nice. And then pump them out. Once it gets hard, just fight for those last few reps. Alright, staying with the flies here. I jumped over to the machine. Can't get enough flies. And on this one, I'm going one arm at a time. I just like to focus on the muscle. So I'll do one arm at a time to just get my mind into it. Really just go for definition here. You know, 10, 12, 15 reps on these one arm movements. I like to do because all my attention is on that one on my right pectoral right now and then I'll switch over to the left pectoral, but putting 100% of your attention on a muscle group draws more of a response from that muscle group. I was actually kind of standing on the one. See, I'm not sitting on the seat there. I kind of like to sometimes stand up and just get my whole body into it and you know, connect with that muscle. Switching over here. You know, the arm's not totally straight, there's just a slight elbow bend. 
but just let it stretch you out and then just bring it up and again your elbow is the guider here so my elbow is locked but I'm making sure that I'm pretty much pulling my arm with my elbow if that makes sense rather than you know using my wrist or something that elbow is going to activate your chest that pectoral muscle the elbow placement is very important when working chest and guys this is a quick little chest workout just some ideas for you be sure to check out the link below for the supplements if you want to buy any they're going to help you out with your bodybuilding journey and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks a lot this is trent signing out